Today I have a delicious slow cooker recipe for you. It's Crock-Pot Chicken Tortilla Soup. Budget friendly and super easy to make because the Crock-Pot does all the work. Hi, my name is Carrie with eatingonadime.com and you're gonna to find today's recipe linked in the description below or you can always go to eatingonadime.com and just use our search feature to find the recipe. First, we're going to start with three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Today, I'm going to use my six quart slow cooker, but a five quart slow cooker would probably hold this soup as well. And you could also use a larger crock pot as well. Next, we're going to add in one can of black beans. I already rinsed and drained them. If you don't rinse and drain them, your entire soup will become black a cup of corn we're adding in, and a half a cup of onion that I've already chopped, a regular size can of crushed tomatoes, two teaspoons of cumin, we're going to add in two teaspoons of chili powder, some garlic salt, and if you don't have garlic salt, you can use garlic powder and then regular table salt. And then we're going to add in chicken broth, or you could also do water. Whoops, we almost forgot that we needed to add in our can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, or you could do a cup of red salsa. We're going to stir to combine, add the lid, and cook this on low for six to eight hours or on high for three to four hours. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and get my toppings ready Chicken tortilla soup is great with all the toppings, but I love to chop up some fresh cilantro on top. You can also do sour cream. Obviously, we're going to serve this with some tortilla chips or tortilla strips. Or you can also top it with avocados, guacamole, and diced tomatoes, and of course, cheddar cheese. I like to hand shred the cheddar cheese instead of using like store-bought pre-shredded cheese. It just tastes better to me, and it melts so much better on the soup when I mix it in. After the cooking time is finished, we have to remove the chicken and we're going to shred it into bite-sized pieces. Don't worry, the chicken will probably already start to fall apart when you're pulling it out of the crock pot, as you can see in my video, but that's good. We want that chicken falling apart and being super tender, so that way it's easy to eat in a soup. Now today I'm just going to shred my chicken with two forks because it's going to be super tender and fall apart. However, I do have a link in the description below or you can go to eatingonadime.com where we actually teach you how you can use your hand mixer or your stand mixer to shred the chicken. You can shred this chicken in literally 30 seconds just by using your hand mixer. So if you haven't given that a try, you've got to try that next time you need to shred a bunch of chicken. And this is probably a great time to mention that even though I use boneless skinless chicken breast today, you can use chicken thighs or even a bone in chicken. You would just have to remove the bones at this point, um, but they still work great in this recipe. And now it's time to add that shredded chicken back into the slow cooker. And remember, if you are confused or you want the entire recipe with the nutritional information, we have that linked in the description below, or you can go to eatingonadime.com and search for the recipe. Once it's stirred in, it is time to serve. It smells amazing and tastes amazing too. We're gonna spoon this up and add our tortilla strips into the bowls. I like to do that instead of stirring it into the crock pot so that way leftovers store easier. Guys, this recipe just smells so good. This is perfect on a cold day and I love that you can make the toppings your own. There, We have so many different options that you can use for your toppings besides what I use today in the link in the description, but everyone in your family is going to love this. And next time you go out to eat, you will not be ordering chicken tortilla soup because it is so good making it at home, especially since your crock pot does all the work. You can go to eatingonadime.com and just search tortilla soup to get the recipe, or I have it linked in the description below. Guys, this is so good. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our family-friendly recipes. I will see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends.